Okay, so we want to make sure you have a detangler. Five Star is one of my favorites. I love this for mane and tails only. I'm out of my mainly um, hair serum, so I went with my second favorite, which is the Equifuse Gleam. It adds moisture and it keeps the hair nice and soft and pliable while it's um, in the braids. You want to make sure you have your plastic bands. These are thicker than rubber bands and they don't pull out the hair like rubber bands do. And then of course tape. Now for horses that have light colored manes like Chicha, um, we use white. For black manes we use black. And for chestnuts, you can use either white or black. It's your preference. So, we'll get started. Okay, removing the old tape. So, when you go to remove the tape, you're going to find the end. And you will pull it around. And it'll come off one-handed. Okay, so now that we have the braids out, I usually will wash the mane really really good and let it dry before braiding but because it looks like it's going to rain again and time is an issue I'm just going to go ahead and take my five star detangler and spray it up on the crest really really good and then spray a little bit on the mane and really massage it into the crest this is where your hair grows from, so it's good to give this a little bit of a massage to get the mane to grow. All right, next thing, we'll take our serum and do the same thing and apply mostly towards the end of the hair, which ends up getting dry. We need to lock in some more moisture for that, okay? Okay, so once the serum is added in, I recommend take your fingers and run them through the hair. Separate any tangles, anything that is stuck. So make sure your fingers go nice and smoothly before taking a brush to it. We don't want to break the hair. We don't want to pull it out. So anything that you find a spot that's stuck, just kind of use your fingers to untangle it before putting a brush to it, through it. And when you use a brush, you want to start at the bottom first and work your way up. So start at the bottom and then work your way up. Making sure all the tangles are out. Once you're done with this step, I like to go back through and put a little bit more serum, especially at the middle and at the bottom where the hair doesn't get ready for braiding. Okay, so once you can stand up on your little ladder, you get a good view. I recommend brushing the crest once you have the hair all entangled. Again, it's so important to get a little bit of a massage up on that crest right in here because this is where the hair grows. You can always go and lift the hair up over, spray the five star detangler underneath and really work it and massage the crest. Okay, and then go through with your brush smooth it all out before you start to braid okay now you want to make sure you can reach so make sure your horse is in the right area okay now I like to go a little bit wide oh probably about four inches to start my first braid so I'm going to separate that section here Okay. The other side, you can either put a hair clip or you can throw it over. You don't need it right now. Okay. Take two fingers, put them here in the middle, and separate. There's your three pieces for your braid. 
Okay, if you don't like the way they're even, just go through here and then you'll start your braid. So to braid this, you're gonna take this side over that and then this side and cross it over. You wanna stay a little bit loose in the beginning because you don't wanna pull on the crest. So then you would just continue the braid down. Okay, we're gonna continue over and over. You wanna make sure you have your thumb holding the top piece over so it doesn't get loose and you have a way to hold onto the hair. So it's gonna go over, thumb, over, thumb, over, thumb, over, thumb, over, thumb, until you get to the bottom. Okay, so when you get to the bottom, you want to braid it to as low as you can get it. You want to take two of the plastic bands and slide them up on your fingers. Like that, okay? You're gonna grip the hair, take the bottom over, so it's looped on like this. Twist, and then just twist it till it's tight. This piece is gonna be in the tape so you want to make sure you can braid it as low as you can get it. Okay? And then you continue on down the neck. Okay, so once you're all braided up, um, I like to take a little bit more Gleam Serum and put it towards the bottom of the braids. Just a little bit to really coat the edges. Now, depending on the length of your horse's mane, depends on how many rolls you're going to have to do. So, for Chiche, I usually do a couple of rolls. So, it doesn't matter if you start from the beginning or from the front or to the back. It doesn't matter where you start. If you want to start in the middle, it's all going to be the same. So, you're going to start at the bottom. We'll start here, for example. And you find where I like to do like a hand with. That's just kind of my go-to. And then I just wrap the hair all the way around it until it makes like a little loop like this. Okay. So it's hard to do it one-handed. So I'm going to roll it up and then um, I'll show you how it looks. Okay. So I'm going to roll the hair up in a line like this. And then when they bring it together, it'll tuck in. And that's what we're going to create. Okay, I'll show you how I do the mane um, by doing it on the tail. So once you do your braid, you're wrapping it up. You're going to take the end of your tape. You're going to lay it on the braid and hold it with the thumb. Then you're going to take this part and wrap it around. This is where you want to pull it tight. So you need to use this thumb to hold the top of this tape and then you want to make sure you pull the tape tight and wrap it around the hair like this. You want to do it a couple of times around. And then when you get to maybe two or three wraps, I would say three, about three or four wraps, when you get to where you want to take it off, take your thumb, set it on the top, and then, or your hand, and then pull, and it'll break, and then you take your little tag here, and you just smooth it down. Okay? And do the next piece. Okay. Hold it, go around. Around. 
hold it. There. Okay. Do it again. Hold it. Cool. Okay. Pop it. Put it at the end. Pop it. I'm going to go down a little bit because I want to cover both the rubber bands. Okay. In here, you're just going to pull. And that's it. Okay, so you're going to do that on the main. Alright, and there you go. And there you have it.